Kubernetes is the best tool for managing containers in the cloud. To deploy a container in Kubernetes, you only need a cluster with Kubernetes installed or Minikube and the primary tool for interacting with it, which is kubectl. If you launch this command, you're going to have one Nginx container running in your cluster, which is actually a pod. In Kubernetes, a pod is the smallest unit of work that you can run and you can see just like an abstraction on top of a container. One pod can have multiple containers depending on the use case, but in most scenarios, one container pods are used. Kubernetes shines when you work with multiple replicas of the same pod that you can get using a deployment resource defined through a YAML manifest file which allows you to scale up and down the number of pods and even do that automatically depending on the load by using a horizontal pod autoscaler object. To access your app that runs inside Kubernetes with load balancing out of the box, you only need to create a service object which points to your pods by using a label selector and an ingress object which points to your service. The service object load balances the request through all your pods and ensures a single entry point for your app through a stable IP address. The ingress can be configured to route the request based on the path or host name and even more advanced configurations like path rewriting or session affinity through cookies. This was Kubernetes in 60 seconds. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.